As many of y'all know, Graviton Lance, one of the OG exotic weapons in D2, got a massive PvE buff the other day. I'm working on a different video gathering all my thoughts on the recent mid-season patch changes, but really wanted to talk about Graviton a little early because... Good lord. And by the way, if you're here for a few Graviton Lance builds to paint the town purple with, go ahead and skip to the end of today's video because I do have options for you. But for right now, the changes. Bungie toned down the big void explosion caused by Graviton in PvP because it was starting to look a little too much like a Cloud Strike Jr. out there. The explosion damage was not changed in PvE, however, and in addition to that, Graviton was given a 67% outgoing damage buff. I've been using the gun a lot in a wide range of PvE activities, and here are my thoughts. <clears throat> F yeah. But no, really, the gun is fun now, like wildly fun. Let's talk about where it really shines. Any PvE activity where there are a bunch of red bar enemies and the recommended power level ain't unnaturally high. New Graviton destroys ads. If I'm in an activity now and either see or know there is a big clump of red bars coming, I start getting excited because depending on the activity, one pull of the trigger could potentially detonate half the room. As part of my Solstice event card, I needed to do Vanguard Ops and to my great delight learned there was a void surge. Saw more explosions out there than watching a goddamn Michael Bay film. Look, I'm gonna try to not do the YouTuber overhype thing and tell y'all that this is literally a flawless weapon that will be a perfect pick for any activity in D2. The gun does have things it struggles with and we will get to that. But I am here to tell you that Graviton has now entered a very special exclusive club for me. The usual PvE weapon. Weapon Rotation Club. Basically, if the activity is red bar heavy or very ad dense, or more importantly, has a void overcharge, there is a strong chance I'm going to bring new Graviton to the party. The fact that the exotic perk Black Hole has high damage with no fall off also basically allows you to use Graviton effectively at ranges where you might normally use a scout rifle. And before we get to the negatives, another big reason to use Graviton now if you haven't tried it out since the patch, the current artifact mods are a match made in heaven. Unto the Breach, Protective Breach, and Supernova are the comedy trifecta that will help keep Graviton usage numbers very high until Season 22 drops. As long as your Void build somehow plays into applying debuffs to the enemy, Graviton will continue looking good. And speaking of looking good, my video today is sponsored by Geology. Let's take a minute to thank them. Geology is a 23-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Esquire, Ask Men, and more. Boys, when I was growing up, I wish I had Geology around, or at the very least cared more about my skin at all. I was a dirty, oily lad, and if I had a time machine, aside from sending back a few winning lottery numbers, I would also send back Geology, because their skincare products can help fight acne, reduce oiliness, reduce puffy under eyes, and just give you smoother, better hydrated skin. Geology's body washes are free of harsh ingredients, smell great, and are even refillable. Their pouches are made with 84% less plastic than traditional packaging, making you feel better about not filling up the ocean with so much GD trash. Someone think of the turtles! Check my link in the video description, and with a few clicks, tell them about your skincare goals, and their team of dermatologists will design a personalized routine just for you shipped right to your door. And be sure to use code FALLOUT70 to get a whopping 70% off your order. Again, 70 freaking percent with code FALLOUT70 on the link below, and big thank you again to Geology. All right, back to Graviton, and let's talk about the drawbacks, starting with something that was also a positive. The current artifact mods. Even though I have no doubt that Graviton will continue to be fun in Season 22, the power of the weapon will definitely go down a smidge when the previously mentioned armor mods on your artifact go away. It is possible we could get some new void toys on the artifact in Season 22 to take their place, but probably kind of doubtful as void was just the flavor of the month this season in a big way with these mods. 
gotta imagine next season it'll be solar or stasis or something. All right, next, while Graviton gobbles up groups of trash enemies with delight, it does struggle with orange bars and more beefier targets overall. Granted, that is to be expected because it's a primary weapon and that would normally be a perfect opportunity for you to whip out a special or power weapon, but one exotic already out there does all that work by itself without issue. You know it, you love it, it might get nerfed because it's so damn efficient, Quicksilver Storm. Quicksilver Storm is maybe Graviton's biggest competition in my eyes at the moment. Quicksilver might not shred groups of red bars as quickly as Graviton, but it can handle a lot of different enemy types. Red bars get ripped up and the gun allows you to fire a high damage grenade launcher round for free, which doesn't even do any damage to yourself at close range if you get sloppy and fire the gun too close. Quicksilver Storm is the Swiss Army Knife PvE primary exotic right now. Very flexible and I damn well enjoy it. Now, in theory, you could just use Quicksilver for synergy with a Strand build and Graviton for synergy with a Void build, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, repeating what I said earlier, is newly buffed Graviton the end all be all PvE primary weapon? Of course not. Quicksilver Storm, Wish Ender, Ikelos Volt Shot, Callus Mini Tool, Incandescent, etc., etc., are all still very good weapons that I will continue to shove into my backpack of fun overpowered bullshit week after week. However, if the activity you're going into has a lot of add density or especially be a void overcharge, you can bet your ass I will be bringing my Graviton. But are you a person out there watching or listening who has not used the newly buffed Gravlan and you're trying to figure out a quick build? I got you. These won't be Omega in depth, but this should be more than enough to get you going. One quick build for each class. Hunters, this is my easy street forehead recommendation, the Jer Falcon. After emerging from being invis, your void weapons now have volatile rounds for free. And because you can go invis so damned frequently with a well-built hunter, procking unto the breach from your artifact is gonna be like taking candy from a no-armed baby, which of course will then let you reap the benefits from protective breach and supernova from your artifact. And because supernova creates a large weakening pulse, you can also turn on Echo of Harvest if you want even more orbs of power and more void breaches. You can also turn on Echo of Starvation to ensure that every time you get a void breach or orb of power, you also get free devour. Warlocks, you can get plenty of value out of Nezarek Sin or even Felwinter's Helm. Nezarek would be the more straightforward, less thought play, but ain't nothing wrong with that. Get a ton of void kills with Graviton and get a ton of ability energy. Easy. Felwinter, however, can create giant explosions that weaken enemies, and defeating weakened enemies would be a great way to kick off unto the breach on your artifact. If you're gonna do the Felwinter's Helm route, definitely check out Echo of Harvest to get extra orbs of power too. And just like before, again, Echo of Starvation, because if we're getting free void breaches and or orbs of power, might as well get free devour too. If you go Nazarek Sin, just remember to spam Child of Ye Old Gods when whenever you can because that does weaken enemies, which again will kick off unto the breach on your artifact. Titan Punch Bros. I know it got nerfed, but you might want to try on Hoyle, aka Heart of Inmost Light, or even Armamentarium. Your play is to spam a lot of void abilities left and right to try and take advantage of controlled demolition, the void aspect. By making enemies volatile with that aspect, that will kick off unto the breach on your artifact, and you probably get the idea by now. You could also roll with Echo of instability, depending on how many grenades you're chucking, as that will also straight up give your Graviton volatile. Either way, remember to also turn on Void Siphon on your helmet. Only costs one energy this season, and with all the group kills Graviton will net you, you'll straight up be rolling in free orbs. Final loadout recommendation, especially if you can really apply volatile to enemies easily, like in the case of the Jer Falcon Hunter. Chill Clip Riptide. And if you don't have a Chill Clip Riptide by now, Jesus Christ, on a whole wheat everything bagel, what is you doing, baby? Between Riptide and Graviton, you can literally handle all champion types by yourself. 
Slowing and freezing enemies with Chill Clip takes care of Unstoppable and Overload, while volatile rounds on your Graviton can handle Barrier Champs. If you have a Graviton loadout you've really been enjoying, feel free to share down in the comment section. And if you haven't tried Graviton since Tuesday, go give it a try. Ring the notification bell to make sure you don't miss my upcoming video covering all the mid-season patch changes. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on stream.